Hello and welcome to episode 99 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain. This is the second last in the series where I'm building an abandoned mine. I wanted this section to look a little more lived in. This is the smelter, the place where they process the ore so they don't have to carry all of the material outside. And in this area there's going to be a lot of other tools and materials lying around. You may have noticed in some of the other rooms so far that I've done single space and double space doors. This room has one of each so that it can attach to more of a variety of the other rooms. In one corner of the room is going to be a small furnace that melts away the ore that's being processed. I'm going to have a tea light underneath this. Here you can see I'm using a heat probe to melt away the underside where an outline of the tea light has been drawn. Quite a substantial amount of the underside needs to be taken out, but on the top side only a very small hole will be made so that the light itself can poke through. In the middle of the floor there's going to be a large grate. I saved this vent from a renovation job that I'm doing at the moment and I'm going to cut away some of the plastic in the middle to make a rectangular shape. Not wanting to use the cutting in technique, I decided to use the probe again and burn on the inside line of the rectangle I just made. I then added these thin strips of balsa to represent planks as sidings of the pit just to tidy up the gap that I'd made and to make it look a little bit more realistic.
I started popping in a whole assortment of pieces from my bits box. I then use this bead and a small shield to make this very small table, on top of which I would later add a couple of small effects. And here's what the project looks like overall. But first, if you want to know more about the techniques that I used and some of the colours, there's plenty more in this series if you just look back through the playlist. Thank you. 